Sure, you want your kids to be able to see, but you also want them to look cool in the process. Here's Yvonne Goldstein, the founder of OptiWow, and she can help your kids do both of those things. Yvonne, it is so good to see you, and that was a corny eye pun, but it seemed appropriate for what we're about to talk about. OptiWow, your baby. Tell yes. us all about it. Well, OptiWow it really was born out of the frustration that we were having in our optical shop seeing these precious little kids come to our optical shop with frames that were totally inappropriate and it's just compelling to see you know that these little kids come with eyeglasses that are not servicing the purpose they were at the prescribed for so you know it becomes very frustrating because these parents you know it's hard enough that they get the news that their child needs to wear eyeglasses and now, you know, the child doesn't want to wear them because they don't look right, because they made fun of them, or because they're falling off their face. So, you know, this happens all the time, right. and we see it all the time. You know, and then we felt compelled that there had to be a better way to service these kids. I mean, of course, we have our optical shop inside Miami Children's Hospital, but, but for those kids around the world that don't have access to a shop that really specializes in kids, we felt that OptiWow was a second best resource for them to go. Right, so you mentioned we, and we're talking about you and your husband who's a pediatric ophthalmologist Correct. at Miami Children's Hospital. Yes. And there's also, so there is a, there's a website component where people can, like you said, anywhere around the world, can go on to OptiWow.com and, and get the glasses. They can go see your husband first because, as I understand it, there aren't many, there's only a handful of pediatric ophthalmologists in South Florida, correct? Yes, correct. Yeah, correct. Uh, or, the, or the kids can go see their own doctor and come with a prescription. But, Absolutely. But, but what you were saying earlier really resonates because I think a lot of parents get a little overwhelmed. Uh, it's difficult finding that your child doesn't see well, and then there aren't that many options to get them the right kinds of glasses. Correct, yeah. correct. So, so you guys thought, okay, well, let's change that. Uh, so now you've decided to do it. So how does it start happening? How does the business, how, how does the idea go from on paper to, you know, actuality? Well, basically we do have our optical shop with, you know, our trained staff that's been working there for over 15 years. So, you know, basically what we did is a cookie cutter of our optical shop now online. We choose the brands we want to work with, the ones that have been proven for us in our real life with patients that work because there are many, many, many lines out there, but not everything is designed appropriately. So our boards that are in the optical shop are, you know, basically in the website. So it's very easy, and we've added a tool that is called a virtual try-on where you can either use the model in the website or you can upload a picture of your child and actually try on the glasses and see how they're going to look. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yes. Uh, and we invite people to go to the website and take a look at that firsthand. So what are some of the difficulties for parents uh, in terms of, you know, because you and I were talking about this earlier, a, a child can't always communicate that they're not seeing well, right? Correct. So it might take a while before the parent even knows that their child does have eye problems. Or that the pediatrician notices something in, in the yearly checkup. Right. So yes. And it, then from there, so finally your child gets fitted for glasses, but as you and I were saying earlier, if they're not the right glasses, that can just lead to a whole bunch of problems. A whole bunch of problems, starting with, you know, the kid not seeing well because either the frame is too small and they're cheating, you know, it, or the frame is too big and it's falling off their face. And the worst of it, of course, is the child that gets made fun of when they go to school wearing their glasses, that's it. Right. So, you know, the whole process that should be a good experience for the kid, that, you know, the kid should you, you have to motivate the kid and tell them, and, and show them and you know that they need to wear glasses but that it's cool to wear glasses right. so you know we have different frames different age groups different sizes so you know there are character frames you know you have the converse frames you have the disney frames you have the car frames you have all kinds of frames that you know excites them so the first thing is get the kid excited to wear it to want to wear it okay and the second thing obviously that it should fit right in their face and you brought, we have a whole bunch of glasses here, but you have a couple by you that you want to show off. So show us some of these glasses yes. and tell us about it. So them. for example, we have a Disney frame here where the little character of the prince is in the temple. You know, little girls love these kind of frames. Right. Then you have, you know, for the little smaller toddler kids that destroy everything. You know, it's normal for kids 
to break a pair of glasses. Right. You know, they're playing, they're running. So, you know, it happens. These are super flexible. These are like our favorite for that age group. Then we have some that are flexible, okay, that parents, of course, love. And what, what advice do you have uh, for parents? So now that their child has gotten these glasses, how do you care for the glasses? How do you make sure they don't break? What can, uh, what can the parents and the that kids That the dog do? doesn't chew them. Right, right. <laughs> so that happens a lot, believe it or not. So first thing is try to, you know, when the child is not wearing them, put them back in their case, okay? Show them, teach them. It's a learning process. You show them how to keep their shoes on. You show them how to keep their glasses on. Mm -hmm. Second, don't clean them with your shirt, please. Don't do this. I've okay? been doing that for years, by the way. Don't do that. Years. That scratches. That <laughs> scratches the lens. Okay. I'm like a three-year-old. I did not. not even know that well, that was wrong. And usually, you should wet the lens before cleaning it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The best thing is water and dishwasher soap. That's it. You just put water. A little soap in your hands, you go like this, and voila, all the grease is out, all the dirt is so out. So spitting on your glasses and then rubbing it all over your shirt. That's not is a good not idea. The way to do not it. a right, good okay, idea. Okay, the down. second thing the third thing is don't put them like this. Okay. Okay. Sure. They are gonna scratch in the surface. Okay? And yeah. lenses scratch. No matter if they have a scratch warranty, there's no such thing. All lenses scratch eventually. Uh -huh. Okay. Some protection we put that makes it, you know, less susceptible, but they all scratch. You have uh, you have sunglasses. You got we have sports kids sunglasses. shades. You got all kinds of cool yes, stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We have sunglasses. You know, we dedicate to kids, so we have a humongous line of sunglasses. These are like you know for dad and son. All right. This is the typical the, the wafer, the classic wafer from Ray Ban. So they come in smaller sizes if you want yeah. your kids to look like you. And then sports goggles, very very important. Okay, kids play sports they need to protect their eyes, okay? You only have one pair of eyes. One bad hit with a ball in the eye, and the eye is gone. We see it all the time, and it's very unfortunate that kids are not forced by coaches, unfortunately, to wear goggles. And because they don't see others wearing it, they don't want to wear it. Um, so it's a fight. <laughs> super interesting uh, information. Thank you so much. How can people find out more information? They go, can go to OptiWow.com, www.OptiWow.com, and uh, we are located inside Miami Children's Hospital. And Do people need an appointment to come see you in the hospital? Yes, they did. Okay. Yes, they do. So make the appointment or just go to the website. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, for the appointment, you can call Pediatric Ophthalmology Consultants, and the website there is eyes Four with the number four kids.com. Fantastic. Do you have any holiday promotions or deals or anything? Yes, actually, we're running a promotion on sunglasses, 15% off sunglasses, and all our sunglasses are prescriptions, so you can put prescription on them. And if you're a new shopper to OptiWow.com, you can actually get a $25 off on frame and lenses. Great seeing you, uh, and come back again and have Great a happy holiday. Great being here with you, Dave. Yeah, thank you. Got you. It. Thank you. Thank you.